Yeah, Lauren, the primary election is just a month away, but early voting starts tomorrow. So for many, it's decision time. Every day is uh, really critical now as we get closer to uh, uh, election day. So that's why we're here on Mother's Day, knocking on doors. The campaigning is non-stop for some candidates as the primary election draws near. And then today we were down at the Swiss uh, Rifle Club down in southern Monterey County enjoying a Mother's Day barbecue to, uh, there. And now uh, I get to do whatever my wife says uh, she wants to do. <laughs> Monday is the first day voters can vote by mail for the primary election, making early May an important time for candidates to be out and about. And I think um, more and more the election is not on election day, it's a month in advance. you got to really um, reach out to those absentee voters. Since 2008, more than half of all ballots in the primary elections were cast by mail. It's going to be interesting to see what voter turnout is, especially among Republicans. Now that um, really Donald Trump is the only Republican left in the race, we might not see as high a voter turnout as we were expecting. Casey Lucius took a break on Sunday after a busy Saturday meeting with voters, but she says the overtones from the presidential election are rippling down to the local races. It's very clear that people this year are um, anti-establishment, kind of tired of the same players and really ready for someone new. So that's been very positive for me. Overall, the candidates agree on one thing. I think people should get out there and vote for the person that they feel is going to represent them here right on the Central Coast. That's the most important thing. Well, those who have registered to vote by mail should start receiving their ballots tomorrow. Lauren? All right, thanks so much, Bianca. I mean, if you haven't registered to vote, the deadline to register to vote in the primary is May 23rd.